Today's adventure starts at Gaston's cave. Gaston the ladybird. <laughs> Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for us. Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Again tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> ben, bedtime. Oh, that's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. Find him. Okay. Gaston, are you coming out to play? Gaston! Gaston's not answering. Oh, maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, he. <laughs> Like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm. Perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Nanny Plum will know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea! Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny Plum! Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm. Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, Nanny Plum, please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. Oh, 
This is Gaston's cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? Hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. we better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. Ugh. No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on the bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. it when you're sad. We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. What's he saying, Nanny? Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <laughs> Well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit up, Zessy. Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Yee-haw! Can't catch me! Yes, we can! <laughs> Gaston! 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's playgroup. Daisy, Poppy! Daisy, Poppy, don't do that! <laughs> What's all the noise? Mummy, the twins are being naughty. Shouldn't they be at playgroup? There hasn't been any playgroup for weeks now. Really? Why not? The problem was all the toddlers were together in one place. Isn't that the idea of a playgroup? Well, yes, but just think. There was Raspberry. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> A nettle. She has a stingy nettle in her hat. And Tarquin. Tarquin like playgroup. <laughs> and Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> All together, they're quite a handful. What happened to their nice teacher, Mrs. Fotheringill? Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. They made her disappear. Disappear? All they found was her shoes. Now, no one wants to be the teacher and the nursery is closed. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. I'll be the playgroup teacher and Nanny Plum can be my assistant. Oh, uh, um, I'd like to be, but I'm really very busy. I'll call my friend Mrs Elf then. She can be my assistant. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello. It's Queen Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. I wonder if you'd be interested in a new job. A job? Yes. You'd be working with me. That would be an honour, Queen Thistle. As assistant teacher at the playgroup. Hello? Hello? Oh, the phone must be broken. Still, she sounds very keen. I'll go round and fetch her. Are you sure you want to be the teacher, Mummy? The toddlers can be very naughty. No problem. I'll have Mrs Elf to help me. Hello? Is Mrs Elf there? Uh, sorry, but Mrs Elf had to go away suddenly. She is not here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, hello. I just got back. Perfect. Daisy and Poppy are so... So pleased you're going to help at playgroup. <laughs> well, as long as it's just Daisy and Poppy. Oh, no. It will be all their friends as well. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. What a shame. No playgroup. Don't worry, Mrs Elf. I have the key. Lovely. A quick tidy and we'll soon have it ship shape. Oh, look. Mrs Fotheringill's shoes. Where did she go? No one knows. She just... Disappeared. Come along. The toddlers will be here in a minute. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So is Raspberry. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere. But I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf. You're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. 
What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs! Tarquin like dinosaurs! Oh, OK. Big teeth! <laughs> Good! Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy... Did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. Right, Nanny, I'm on my way. Hello. Have you come to pick up your toddlers? Yes. yes. Ah, where's the playgroup? It's, it's gone. gone. Wow. Last time, the toddlers just made the teacher disappear. This time, it's the whole school. Home time. Phew. Well done, Mrs Elf. That wasn't too bad. Apart from the Queen disappearing. Oh, yes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, children. Don't run. Oh, my goodness. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur. Oh, no! They've sent us back in time! To the land of the dinosaurs! How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So, what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry, there must be an answer. Think, Mrs Elf, think. What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman. <laughs> shoes, shoes. Wait a minute. It's Mrs. Fotheringill, the lost teacher. I've been stuck here for ages. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes. The Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyl things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? Oh, I see. <coughs> Look, the Queen! Hello, everyone. Mummy, are you all right? Yes, but I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. <coughs> I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now I think we all better get back home. Hooray! We're back. My shoes! And my panties! Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is... We've found Mrs. Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs. Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. You'll need to get your strength back before you start teaching the playgroup again. Oh. Mrs. Fotheringill! <laughs> 
today's adventure starts at the little castle. Holly's magic wand. Ah, what a lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny. I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I've a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. <coughs> Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh, Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the meadow. I'm sure I left my wand here. It's gone! <laughs> Hi, Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's wrong? I've lost my wand. I can't do magic anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm never going to find my wand and I'll be sad forever. <laughs> Cheer up, 
Polly. I will find your wand. How? Elves are very good at finding things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand, you must promise not to turn me into a hat again. I promise. But, Ben, how are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew I'd never find it. <coughs> Oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <coughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever, Gaston. <coughs> Oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <coughs> we should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! <laughs> Nanny! Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazette. Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobody. Ah, oh, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. No magic day. Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day. From sunrise to sunset, it will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why. Only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh! Fairies without magic! For a whole day! <laughs> Morning time! Pajamas into clothes! Oh! My wand's not working! Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. zibbity zabbity zob Ooh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day! Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day! Oh, of course! <laughs> yes, and I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No! <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up with our magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <coughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever. Happy No Magic Day, Mr. Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf, nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine. Of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. 
We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's mud. Mud? No, it's mud. Mustard? M Marshmallows? M M Melted cheese? M M M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes, but it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes! The day is nearly over. Ah! The magic is back and the elf engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Pa! So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra. Ah, good. 
The magic is back and the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf farm. Nanny Plum, where's breakfast? So sorry, Your Majesty, but the elves haven't delivered the food yet. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. <laughs> That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot. Tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> 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 What's that buzzing noise? I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Well, well. <laughs> Hello, wise old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Stand clear! Carrot coming up! Evo! 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 Wow! Oh, hello, Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Ooh. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic. You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow. Push, 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 push. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the tomato plants. Ooh. These are the tomato plants. Wow. I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. 
Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, if only we could find a way to get rid of them. Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right-o. Tomato! <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. <laughs> Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> chicken's escaped! Follow that chicken. Clockwork has wound down. Quick, Ollie, let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum, I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chickens laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum, could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? 
Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Spies. Look what came in the post. An invitation to the boating carnival. Ooh, I love the boating carnival. All the boats sailing on the river with music and dancing. But King and Queen Marigold always make fun of my boat. King and Queen Marigold are so snooty. Well, maybe the Marigolds won't be coming this year. Hello? Oh, hello, King Marigold. Thistle, old boy. Are you coming to the boating carnival? We've got an amazing boat this year. Oh, well, I've got an amazing boat too. Really? I can't wait to see it. Cheerio! Those marigolds are such show-offs. This time, our boat will be better than theirs. What boat is that, Your Majesty? Ah, uh, the boat you're going to build me. Me? Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense! Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it. Just build me a boat. So... How are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool. Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big. Just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies. Back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat. Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Me! 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 Barnaby Elf. You will be our spy, but first, you must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand, and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. Hello? Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no. It's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to Bamboo, everyone. Hello, Bamboo. Look, we're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is bigger. Ooh. You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops, I mean... Bamboo, do I know you from somewhere? No. Well, I'd better be going. It was nice to meet you. Bye! Mission accomplished. I found out all about 
the fairy's Viking boat. What's it like? It's big, bigger than ours. Then we'll start again. We'll make the biggest Viking boat ever. Yes, wise old elf. You weren't discovered, were you, Barnaby? No, they never suspected. I know where I've seen Bamboo before. He was Barnaby in disguise. <gasps> the elves are spying on us. That's outrageous! But didn't we spy on them? That was different. We thought of spying first. So now the elves know all about our boat. Fine. We'll just find out more about theirs. Strawberry, you can be our spy. All right. You need to look like an elf. Bye-bye, wings. Hello, ears. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the sea so blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front that breathes fire! Are you sure it looks right? Hmm, maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> what an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? It looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! Ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Everyone, have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> ah! Uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. <laughs> And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. Oh, what's that noise? Hello. Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? 
It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. Well, thank you. It is the finest boat in the whole carnival. Hooray! <laughs> 